friends, it's Cherie, and today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the things that I made in January. I'll also be putting you on to some new businesses that I stumbled upon in the month of January that I love. Alright, first things first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. Let's get into it. because I drink tea and coffee all day long, mostly tea, but all day long, and I needed to stay warm and secure, okay? So I was on Instagram, like I am quite often, <laughs> more often than I like to admit, and I stumbled upon a company, and I believe it's called Gosby or Gosby, and they make all of these specialty mugs and thermos mugs and things, and they have little sayings on them and customizable pictures, and I actually did this one. Hopefully you can see it. I'll insert pictures if the ring light is messing up the picture. But it's a picture of myself and my best friend. And it has our names underneath. And on the back, it says, No one will ever be as entertained by us as us. Now there's a reason why I chose that phrase. And the reason is because my best friend and I are on a different level of silly than some people are. And um, we often find ourselves in situations where we're out and about having a good time and people are staring at us because we're laughing hysterically and they have no idea why we're laughing. Sometimes we tell them why we're laughing and they just kind of look at us crazy. But you know what? She's my ride or die chick, you know? Like we've been close friends for years and I don't see that ever changing. Anyways, I thought this was an amazing idea to have customizable art on these really wonderful travel size mugs and it actually keeps your drinks really, really hot and I love it. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I wanted to share is also tea related. As I mentioned, I drink tea all day long. I used to drink like coffee in the morning, water all day long, and then I would have red wine at dinner. Well, that changed after I had COVID and I started having lots of migraines and things. And so I actually haven't been drinking wine as much and I love wine, don't get me wrong, but I find that I am more drawn to things that make me feel cozy and that don't give me a hangover <laughs> after I drink them. So instead of having, you know, um, a glass of wine at dinner or before bed, I actually drink tea and mostly I will drink non-caffeinated tea but during the day, I drink all kinds of tea and water, um, but I love to try different teas. And lately, I, my go-to has been different types of peppermint blends, but I'm starting to get a little bit bored with some of the options that I have at my local grocery store. And I actually used to buy specialty teas from different places, like there's this place in Alameda called Julie's Tea. I think that's what it's called, Julia's Tea. And... Um, you know, I would go there quite often and, and pick different, you know, tea blends and buy them um, by the ounce and, you know, sample. But since, you know, COVID, I don't leave the house much, to be perfectly honest, and all my groceries are ordered. So it's been really difficult to be able to figure out what different types of teas I could get online without wasting my money because I'm buying something I've never had before or whatever. So I went into looking at different tea subscriptions and different tea companies that specialize in creating like perfect packages for people and I found one that I really enjoy and I think that you guys will too and the best part about this company is that it is woman owned and you know I love a good woman owned company. I'm always trying to support as many women businesses as I can. The company that I'm talking about is T by C, and I believe her name is Claire, so T by Claire. I will put her Instagram handle as well as uh, Gosby or Gosby, as well as another company I'm going to mention in a minute in the information section of this video so that you can check them out. But I really like this tea. It came in a subscription box. They do have a monthly subscription service, but you can also buy 
all the different teas that they have in their shop online and they have so many wonderful ones and what I love about it is that Claire is actually a tea sommelier and she tests teas from all over the world and creates the most special packages for people so I did sign up for a three month subscription and I'm really excited about it and this tea that I'm actually drinking came in my box I'll do an unboxing video on a separate occasion and this one is actually uh, called dragon well green tea and it's so good you guys like it has some really bold good flavors and I don't know if you know this but green tea actually has caffeine in it so I'm excited to try this tea and you know enjoy it because you know mama needs some energy she needs some pep in her step so if I can get a little extra pep in my step from this green tea I'm all about it but the flavors are just so good there's so many different options on the website and I can't wait to just test out all those wonderful teas also, I have a discount code for you for this tea company. I'm not sponsored, but I did get you a discount code and I will put the information for that in the information section below. And I believe that the code is so and sip and I'll answer that as well, just in case I mess that up. <laughs> but I really think that you should support this business. The tea is amazing. And like I said, it's woman owned. Okay. All right. So I made a lot of things this month, guys, more than I thought I would be able to. I've been really tired since I reopened my business and I've been working, you know, my business is open 50 hours a week, but that doesn't include the time that I spend setting up and shutting down at the end of the day before I even, you know, do things with my own kids and my husband. So I'm pretty tired at the end of the days and it's hard for me to have the motivation that I normally have and sometimes the excitement to go and work on a project. I really just want to spend time with my kids and sleep. But sewing makes me happy, guys. It, it brings me so much joy. So as often as I can, I will sew. But since I've been pretty tired, those sewing opportunities have fallen on the weekends. So on Saturdays, like yesterday, you guys, I sewed all day. From like 11 o'clock until about 5 o'clock, I sewed. I made so many things. Um, we'll talk about those things. So I don't know if you're like me, but now lately i'm losing energy and it could be because it's winter and it's finally a little cool outside bay area of california it's never super super cold for me um i i, I love winter weather i don't like snow now there, there's a difference between the winter that i like and the winter that some other people experience <laughs> i like to be like in the 50s you know what i'm saying maybe in the 40s you know i want it to be cold enough to wear a nice coat but, you know, warm enough to not have to worry about freezing to death. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, anyway, that being said, I feel really sleepy and I just want to be cozy and sewing hasn't, um, you know, happened every day like I wanted to or like I'm used to. So, I'm going to talk to you about all the things I made. Now the first thing that I made is the New Look Pattern N6683. This is a sweater dress, you guys. I love this sweater dress so much. I purchased it in my fall, I believe it was my fall pattern haul video. And the fabric that I used for that dress is actually the beautiful cable knit sweater fabric that I got from Melanated Fabrics. If you haven't purchased anything from Mimi G and Brittany Jones um, store, Melanated Fabrics, you should. It's Everything that I've ordered is just so luxurious, so nice, and I'm just so proud of them. Another woman-owned business, you guys. Support, 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 okay? And I was so thrilled with the quality of the fabrics that I received. This sweater fabric is so soft, the color is so vibrant, and I really enjoyed sewing with it. I've made several things because I did get a few different colorways, and this dress is no exception. It's lovely, it's cozy. I will say this though, it's a bit oversized. So I did follow the instructions for sizing um, when I actually picked my size for the project. However, I did find that it was quite big on me. So I will size down maybe even two sizes the next time I make that pattern. There will be a next time because I really enjoyed that one. It's really good. Okay, <clears throat> the next, sorry if I'm clearing my throat, I do have a little scratchy throat this morning, so please forgive me. The next thing that I made is the Made for Mermaids Faye Cardigan. And I made this, I have made a couple of them before. One for myself in a light fabric in the past and then one for my mother-in-law. I love the way hers came out so much that I thought what I would do is take the scraps from my sweater dress 
and the scraps from that were left over from the cardigan that I made my mother-in-law and I combined them to do a little color blocking so that I could make one of these cardigans for myself. Guys, this cardigan is legit cozy, okay? I would literally wear it every single day if I could get away with it, but since I use color blocking, everyone would know I'm wearing the same old dusty sweater every single day. <laughs> so I have decided that I will allow myself to wear it twice a week, <laughs> and then I will, you know, give my other wardrobe some love. But I will tell you that this sweater fabric, oh my gosh, it's so cozy. I love it so much. I actually have a colorway that I plan. I haven't decided if I wanna make a jacket out of it, or if I want to make a dress out of it, maybe you guys can let me know what you think. I have lots of pattern ideas for that, and I actually might do a separate video, and maybe you guys can help me pick what fabrics I use for my projects. But this fabric is just so soft and so cozy, and it washes up so nice. It is one of those wash cold, hang dry fabrics, and that's perfectly okay with me. I don't mind that at all. That is actually preferable to anything that's like dry clean only because your girl doesn't dry clean okay I just don't do it it's too expensive and I don't have the time to take it and pick it up and all that stuff my husband does a lot of dry cleaning when he's actually working in the office and so he's used to having that bill incorporated but me personally I don't get my nails done I don't get my hair done like those are the money that would go into those types of things and also dry cleaning for me goes into tea snacks fabric <laughs> and those are the things that I generally spend my money on um, lately so no dry cleaning for me and I love the way the fabric actually handles in the wash there was no balling or anything like that the colors don't fade it's lovely so that cardigan is pretty easy it doesn't have a lot of pieces and it has so many different options different uh, collar band options different sleeve options pockets no pockets the links there's three different links on it it's a really good cardigan so check out the fake cardigan okay the next thing that i made is the mccall m8031 it, this is a shirt dress and then it's so great you guys i'm obsessed with buttons lately Everything I want to make has buttons and some people look at me and they think that's nuts We hate our buttonhole maker, <laughs> but I don't know what it is about making buttons for me It's so satisfying and I just love the process Actually, I have this new tool. Where did I put it? Oh, yes, here we go <clears throat> and this is a Simflex expanding sewing gauge. I don't know if you guys probably everyone knew about this but me but this is a sewing gauge it helps you to evenly space out your buttonholes and when I tell you that this has made a world of a difference for my buttonhole game guys I mean it it has definitely made a huge difference and it's kind of helped me to really enjoy the process of sewing buttons so if you don't have one of those you should really check it out I got mine on Amazon I feel like it was a bit pricey for what it is but it, I, it's come in handy I've used it every single time I've made a button-up shirt dress anything um, and it has definitely made the process a little bit easier. Okay, so for this particular dress, I used this awesome butterfly cotton lawn fabric. Now this is my first time using cotton lawn, and I didn't know what the fuss was about because a lot of people love cotton lawn. I didn't know what the fuss about was about until I actually purchased my fabric and actually worked with it. The one that I got is from Rifle Paper Company, and let me tell you guys, it is so beautiful. Like the colors, I can't, the pictures don't do it justice. They're so vibrant, so vivid. Oh, they're just it's so great. And it has butterflies all over it, which takes that fantasy level to level 10 for me. I love all things like butterflies, unicorns, rainbows, all of those things, okay? And so when I was making this dress, it was just a fun sew for me. I was worried because I didn't want to mess up the fabric. It was a little pricey for cotton, um, but I love the way it came out, and I definitely plan on making several more of this dress. I did have a little bit of trouble with the under collar. I figured it out. I have an idea on how I'll do it different, but what I'm going to do to change it up does not follow the instructions. So... I've made other collar shirts before and didn't have this issue, so I think what I'm going to do is take my experience with those other patterns and kind of incorporate it in this pattern because I do love this pattern so much. It has pockets, you guys. It has three different lengths. It has different sleeve options. You can have a tie belt or no tie belt. 
it has side splits i chose not to do the side splits just because i wanted to be able to wear it while i'm working and not worry about my split falling too open i guess um, but the side splits is a very cute detail if i had made the longer version of the dress i definitely would have included them but since i made the, sh the shorter version i feel really good about taking those splits out so i do love the way that came out it was a pretty straightforward sew so um, maybe an intermediate it pattern. I wouldn't say it's an easy sew pattern just because of the collar construction and buttons But it was a really good sew for me. I enjoyed it a lot I forgot to mention these amazing buttons that I found at an Etsy shop called TTL supplies They are the perfect shank buttons They look like marbles and on the inside they have different colored butterflies that perfectly match the butterflies on my fabric They are to die for and I really love the seller because she got me the buttons so so fast I got them within the same week. It was wonderful Okay, so the next thing that I made was the made by Jack's mom hot chocolate hoodies. I made two of them of course for my boys um, the first one is for my son Cameron and he picked this blue army print French Terry that I purchased from Girl Charlie, another woman owned business guys. <laughs> um, anyway, so he, he picked that fabric. It's very lightweight, very soft, very stretchy, so comfortable. It's so comfortable that one day he didn't want to take it off to go to bed. He wanted to sleep in it <laughs> and I am all for that so long as the things don't get worn too many days in a row. He's a boy, you know, they get stinky. So <laughs> I had to confiscate it and wash it for him. So that's one that'll probably make it in the wash a couple times a week because he loves it that much. Um, and then I made my son Adrian one out of this really great tie-dye fabric that was actually supposed to be for me. I was gonna make a Billy sweatshirt out of it, but um, he saw it in my stash and he begged me to have it and to make him something out of it. So mama had to oblige you know what i'm saying like how do you say no to that and it makes me so proud when they ask me to make them things so i couldn't say no and i let him take my stash okay <laughs> um so those were the two sweatshirts that i made both out of french terry from girl charlie all right so the next thing that i made was the seamwork devon dress i really love the devon dress you guys it's so comfortable so cozy the construction's really great it has a very unique collar and it's just so dreamy okay i used the fabric that i got from i believe it was my november thread crate box it is a purple hacky fabric it's very lightweight it's very stretchy cozy i will say it is sheer so if i were to wear it without an undershirt and i did take pictures so that you guys would know without an undershirt you can definitely see my bra okay and i did get my husband's permission before i posted these pictures but it's not like i'm out there in underwear okay like i have a sweater dress it's just sheer okay <laughs> so i'm just putting it out there that if you plan on making a dress out of hacky fabric because it's so thin you want to make sure that you test it out to see if you can see your underwear under it before you decide whether or not you're going to make it without a slip or something like that but i think it was definitely lovely it gave a really great drape and lines to it i love that it has this really great cocoon body style i'm definitely making more of these i really think i might make this out of a thick jersey i think that will be so nice and so soft and cozy it's definitely the type of thing that i want to wear every day for work for the weekend i don't care some some people might call it secret pajamas i've heard that term a lot lately so this is a really great pattern and it's so easy. There are not a ton of pieces. Let me think. I want to say that there is one, two, three, four, five pieces in this dress and they're super straightforward. You can make it by just looking at the pictures. I don't recommend that if you're a new sewist, but if you're someone that's been sewing for a while, you can look at the pictures and just whip it up. Um, I definitely want to make more of those. It was a really great sew. All right. The next thing I made was two Agnes tops. These are Tilly in the button patterns. You know I love Tilly buttons. <laughs> and so the first one I actually, so both fabrics are actually from Girl Charlie. They're both French Terry. The first one that I made is out of a really great tie-dye fabric. And it's so stretchy, so soft, so cozy. I like it because it's a step warmer than if I were to use a regular jersey because it does have that looped back on the back of the fabric. But it is thin enough and it's stretchy enough to where it works really well for a body hugging shirt like that. I want to say that the Agnes is probably my favorite long sleeve shirt and I've made lots of different long sleeve shirts at this point. It's my favorite one. Um, it just has such a great feminine silhouette shape to it before you even put it on the body. It already has like the little 
waist hip curve built into it. It lays on the body so nicely. I don't have to do a full bust adjustment even though I'm a full, full busted lady, okay? And I just love the way it fits on the body. The neckline is at a perfect length. It doesn't show my cleavage, but it's low enough to show some chest skin, so it's still a little bit sexy even without showing cleavage. I just like this pattern so much. Now, the first one that I did, like I said, was tie-dye. The second one that I did is crazy, okay? It's like leopard print with rainbow tie color. Both, did I say that right? Wait, no. <laughs> it's leopard print with rainbow tie-dye all over it, and it's perfect for me, okay? It's fun, it's colorful, it's weird, and I love it, okay? It's super comfortable. I absolutely love all the fabrics that I purchased from Girl Charlie. Beyond the fact that it's extremely affordable, actually what I'm wearing right now is from fabric from her store. Beyond the fact that it's super comfortable, it's super affordable, and the color ranges on all the fabrics that I've purchased have just been really great, really vibrant and fun, um, and I just love the variety. There's so much that you can buy on that website, and it's all, I believe, jersey fabric or stretchy sweater knit fabric, so it makes it nice for someone like myself that prefers um, knits over wovens. So I really love that shop if you haven't checked them out. Okay, so the next thing that I made is another Billy sweatshirt, guys. Now, I love the way this sweatshirt came out, and I'm about to put you onto another woman-owned business, okay? It's a business that I really, really enjoyed my experience shopping with, and I definitely think if you haven't heard about this shop, you should definitely check them out. Actually, I, I didn't even know about this shop. What happened was I was having the hardest time ever trying to find sweatshirt ribbing. Guys, Tell me if you have other recommendations because I was struggling, okay? Couldn't find it at Joann's, couldn't find it at all my go-to spots. And when I did find it at certain places, they were in Canada, UK, and it was expensive, okay? So I reached out to Cassandra with Thread Crate and I asked her, hey, where do you buy your, your ribbing? This is where it pays to have sewing friends, okay? And, and I, I'm leaning on you to share with me and I will share everything I learned with you. But... She recommended Urban Kid Fabrics. Now, guys, I had never heard of this shop. When I went on there, my mind was blown, okay? The creativity was flowing, okay? I had to really rein it in, though, because I was shopping for ribbing, not for, you know, building a whole stash collection of sweatshirting material. <laughs> but they had so many wonderful prints that I know for sure my boys would love and that I personally loved as well. It's not just for kids. There's lots of different fabrics that will be perfect for anybody and everybody, especially people that love ju juvenile prints. But I just saw so many different things that I haven't been seeing other places, and I love everything that they have. So I'm really impressed by this company because not only did it ship extremely fast, like I ordered it, I want to say that I had it three days later or something like that. It was really fast. Um, but... I had some questions about my order. I sent an email and I tell you within minutes, the shop owner, which is a woman, woman owned business guys, she replied right away. And she, you know, helped me figure out my issue and settled it and it was an easy, smooth process. She was very kind. It is very rare when you um, place orders with different companies and an actual individual will get back to you within the week. Um, that's my personal experience, but I do find that smaller businesses tend to be a little bit better about staying in communication with people. And now two women-owned businesses have shown me so much love and support with any shopping orders, that I, uh, issues that I've had. So that was Melanated Fabrics the first time I had an issue. Very quick response, called me directly, took care of everything quickly. And now this company, which responded really quickly and helped me out so much, check them out. Let's get into what I actually made. Okay, this sweatshirt is fantastic. It has so many different variations that you could make yourself. And so what I did is I used the regular shoulder sleeve of the pattern, but instead of doing the regular long sleeve, I changed it and I combined it with the balloon sleeve option for that pattern. And I love the way this looks. I personally am not a huge fan of the Billy sweatshirt that has the gathers on the top of the shoulder. I have made a couple of those and I think it looks really lovely on pretty much everyone else but on me and it could be because I'm so busty. It just didn't feel flattering to me and it just kind of looked awkward to me. 
Um, so I personally love the balloon part of that sleeve, but I like the regular cap of the straight sleeve. So I combined those two patterns and guys, I couldn't be more thrilled. I love this pattern so much and I did use a really wonderful French Terry sweatshirt fleece that I purchased from this Urban Kid Fabric website. <sighs> it's so gorgeous. Um, I did use black ribbing, sweatshirt ribbing for the neck bands of that sweatshirt, but I did use the fabric for the sweatshirt um, for the waistband and wrist cuffs, and it stretches lovely. It looks great. It's so cozy, so beautiful. When I washed that fabric, it didn't fade at all. It didn't bleed. It was really good quality sweatshirt fabric. So if you haven't heard of this company, check them out because they do have lots of different options. All right, so the next thing on my list was the Friday Pattern Company Sagebrush Top. And I've wanted to make one of these for so long, you guys. I don't even know, I because I, I don't even remember when it was released, but I posted a, a comment as soon as they put up pictures for it the very first time saying, I need this. And it took me months before I actually purchased the pattern. Well, I have the pattern now and it sat in my stash for a while. I finally got around to making it and I chose to use this really beautiful, lightweight cotton vol. I think that's how you say that fabric. It's so swishy and lightweight and drapey and soft. I think it might be my new favorite fabric for making, you know, woven garments because it's just so flowy and soft and light and I just love it. It's very easy to sew with. So this was my first time making this top. It was very, very easy to make. Um, probably the most complicated part would be the gathers at the shoulder to make that really puffy sleeve. But other than that, everything was really straightforward. The instructions for their patterns are really great. The pictures are really easy to understand. Instructions are well written. I love the way this came out. And I chose to do like a purple floral. And I, I'm on the fence about whether or not this color is for me. I used to love purple. When I was a kid, it was my absolute favorite color. But over time, I found that I didn't wear as many purples. And if I do, I wear more of that deep, dark purple, um, like that royal purple that I made my, sw my sweater dress out of, the Devon. Um, but like lighter colored purples or violets, I don't buy them that often. And so I'm kind of on the fence on how I feel about the color. Um, I don't know. I think it's a very cute top though. It's very flirty. And as I was making it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's so cute. Um, the only thing that I don't love about this pattern is that it does gather and gape right between your breasts. It's not just on me. I've actually seen other people's pictures as well. And because of the gathers that are right here in the center of the shirt, it does create a deep dip between your boobs. So if you're like me and you're a person that doesn't always want to draw attention to that area, um, this top might not be for you because it definitely makes your boobs kind of cone out. I'm really happy that I made the sagebrush top finally. It is very beautiful and I am tired of holding on to things and not getting around to sewing them. So I'm glad that I made it and it is so nice. Okay. The next thing that I made was a self-drafted sweatshirt, guys, and it's actually what I'm wearing right now. Um, so here's the deal. I've decided that I want to find out ways to sell the things that I make, and it's really tricky to find out which companies will allow you to sell um, things that you've made from their patterns on a small scale, not like a mass production scale, but like on a small scale. Um, there are some and they explain to you what they like you to do in exchange and stuff like that. But I thought, you know, I should really get into drafting and making my own things. So I definitely um, made this all by myself. And there are some things that I'm going to tweak and make better before I start making them for other people. But um, I do like the way it came out. And I did put my own art on the front. This is one of my paintings. Um, and I'm really proud about the way it came out. Even though it's not perfect, there's certain things that I will fix. I love that it has really great, um, it's hard to tell probably from this distance, but I used my rainbow threads from my serger which I'm obsessed with. I want to do everything in rainbow surgery thread. <laughs> but um, I really like the way it came out. I'll insert some pictures now of the actual completed sweatshirt. Um, it is definitely not a long sweatshirt. I've made it to be flowy and kind of like top of the hip length. So I like the way it came out and the process wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. Now I've made self-drafted pockets, self-drafted shorts, 
self-drafted skirts before, but I'm trying to actually create something that I can, you know, alter the size and fit for different people. And so it's a little bit different this time around, but I've made enough sweatshirts from different companies to kind of understand how to make some of these tweaks. So anyways, stay tuned. Hopefully I can put that together soon. And I used some really wonderful sweatshirt fabric from Girl Charlie for this particular project. Now I purchased this one because it has a high polyester blend count um, because I wanted to be able to do sublimation on these sweatshirts. So I have lots of different SVGs that I've purchased and gotten the permission to actually um, sell the art on my sewing projects. So, you know, I wanted to be able to screen print those images onto the sweatshirts. So that is why I chose this particular one and I'm glad I did because it's so soft. It's super, 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 super soft. And it has that very fleecy, like cotton ball backing. It doesn't have like French terry loop backing. So anyways, I love the way it came out. Uh, couldn't be more pleased about it. So stay tuned for more of those. Um, okay, so after I made that, I made the Made by Jack's Mom hot coffee hoodie in gray in the same fabric that I used for this one because I'm trying to decide for family members that have asked me to make them custom sweatshirts which pattern I want to use for them if I want to do one of my self-drafted or if I want to wait on that until I've got it completely perfected and just use Made by Jack's Mom. So I tested it out. I love it. I think it's so cozy and so wonderful. It's a bit long so it does fall over your bum which I don't have a problem with I think that that's extremely cozy especially if I want to wear leggings or if I want to wear yoga pants with them um, but some people might find that a bit long you can definitely um, shorten the length of the sweatshirt to make it appropriate for where you want it to fall um, but I also like that that particular pattern also has a dress length so if you wanted to make a sweatshirt dress you really could and it would look so amazing it's an easy pattern to follow there's a lot of top stitching which I'm finding that I'm starting to enjoy back in the day you guys probably heard me say that I hated a twin needle but the more I do it the more I prefer it. I find that since I've gotten into the habit of doing it, I don't know if you can see it in this sweatshirt because we're so far away, but it just looks so much more professional, so much more clean, and it keeps your your finished edge on the inside of your neckband and waistband from poking out. It helps it to lay flat, and I think that just looks more flattering. I just like it a lot. Um, so. It does have a lot of top stitching if you're like me and you want to do that. Um, you can use a zigzag, but I personally think that the twin needle looks better. So it's a good pattern, you guys. And it has a very nice sweatshirt hood. Like this is just a traditional regular sweat sweatshirt hood. Um, but it has one that kind of flips over and wraps over in the front. And my boys have been enjoying it, so I thought I'd make myself one to test it out before I start making it for relatives and the cuffing that I use in this sweatshirt came from that urban kids fabric company guys this ripping is legit it's thick it's you know really stretchy um, it's just not cheap I've purchased some some ribbing in the past that I was kind of disappointed about and so this one it's a little pricey it's a little pricey but it's worth it because it actually looks so nice on the sweatshirt and hopefully you'll be able to see that in the pictures but I used it for the wrists and the waistband of that sweatshirt and I just think it's really great quality all right so the next thing that I made oh my gosh you guys the next thing that I made is a ton of scrunchies so I want to add scrunchies to my Etsy shop and I'm obsessed with satin scrunchies. So I started with red. And these are kind of like medium sized scrunchies. Really nice. Now, if you don't know about satin, satin for the hair is amazing. It helps to prevent breakage. It helps to keep moisture in your hair. Um, I sleep on a satin pillowcase. I sleep with a satin bonnet. <laughs> I use satin rubber bands. And so for me, there's no other option it's got to be a satin scrunchie if I'm going to use a scrunchie. So I made a ton of these. I think I made like 17 of these red ones. And then I have already started the process of making black and gray. And I think I might actually buy some pink satin 
and possibly do some Valentine's Day bundles. But these are the medium sized ones that I made and I'll just kind of demonstrate what that looks like. And that is what it looks like, friends. I love it. I love it. If you're not a scrunchy person, you probably don't get it, but I always put my hair up. Um, I let my hair down for filming <laughs> and for taking pictures, but for the most part, my hair is generally in either two braids or in a bun or a loose ponytail, and I always use a really nice satin scrunchie. And in the past, I've purchased them for very expensive, $10 a pop, and I was like, why am I doing this? I can make this myself. So I started making my own scrunchies and I was like, you know what? I can add these to the Etsy shop and everyone else can enjoy my satin scrunchies as well. <laughs> so that's something that I'm working on and I made about 17, I believe, red satin scrunchies and I've prepped 47 to make this week. So hopefully I can get those all done and put them up on my shop. But that's it, friends. That's everything that I made in the month of January. It was pretty busy. I actually did more than what I thought I was going to be able to do. But it did help that two Saturdays in this month, my husband just did stuff with the kids all day long so that I could sew all day for two days. And that was really nice. And I did have some late nights. There's a couple nights that I stayed up until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning sewing which I don't recommend because when you stay up that late, sometimes you make mistakes. <laughs> but I was able to complete a lot of the things that I wanted to complete, and I'm pretty proud of myself. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll check out some of these women-owned businesses that I talked about. Definitely take advantage of this uh, T by C discount code that I've included down below because why not save some money if you already enjoy drinking tea and you want to try something new. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I can't wait to post another video for you soon. Have a wonderful week. Bye.